What's up ladies and gents, I'm Legion 27 and welcome your faces back to another episode of Total War Warhammer 2 The Tomb Kings Let's Play. So, uh, we, I, we, I am thinking of either trying to attack no, this, these guys here, no. or not. Your king I'm like, I'm like, yes, and then I'm like, no. So let's see if King Potato can. Yeah, he can. Let's do it. All right. I want to try and wipe this force out in one go. Arise, my legions. All right. Get these guys all nice and lined up, like so. Watch in the rear, rear. Oh man. So close, but yet so far it's pulling right there. Um, yeah, archers. Number two. Number one. Put you in number one as well. I think we're basically good. Hey, buddy. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's good. I saw that before I started. Well, then that changes everything. That literally changes everything. There we go. Get the archers. So, God, they can just rain down everything. Okay. Well then, I feel sorry for my second army because they have to deal with this one. But at the same time, we're going to be destroying this one. So let's do this. All right. Go, 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 go. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you for that. Archers. Yeah, you guys, if you can, I want you to try and block their escape. Or their reinforcing area. Oh, here comes our artillery! Pew, pew. Yeah. Y'all love my sound effects. Dead to best. Right, you guys. Force this area. Oh no. Uh, get around. That's not good. Wait a minute, put a little love in it. Yeah, we're not we're not in a good place right now. Let's get you, you, you. Get him over here. Yeah, let's get everyone just moving this direction. Cause if not, we're just going to get clumped. Discarded very quickly, which is not what I want to happen. Get over here, get behind them. I need you to also get behind them. You to go over here and kill some peeps. And if you could get right in here. Yeah, that looks beautiful. If we can make him retreat, I'll be more than happy. Oh, uh, which one's better? I think this one is. Fire in the hole. Yeah. Alright. Get over here. Hurry, hurry, hurry. And I want 
the heck's going on here? Oh, they're are they trying to reinforce? Wait a minute. Why are you guys not moving? Move. Move like you got a purpose. Jeez. Cheese, it's Let's move. Kill them, please. Okay, where are these guys? Come over here, take them out. Take them out. Do that. Turn your booty around. Beautiful. Alright. Let's break through their lines. Hot jaws of Asaf! We're loose! I love it. Good. Okay, and let's check this area out real quick. Just move. Yeah, I also have cavalry. Boom, boom, move. Oh, there's a range cavalry. Kill them off. Kill them. How you doing? Oh, did we? Yes, we did. Oh, you're. That's not good. Make them fear you. Kill them. All of them. Beautiful. Rang the Mingo Heights. Our warriors rally. Come out of there. I move. Ah, Dead. I, I will retreat him. We, we basically have the battle. He's not my main squeeze. So, everyone kill right, you guys. sick we actually did pretty good pretty good pretty good pretty good Run them down. Slay them all. Leave none alive. Oh, yep, after he died, everyone was just like, nope. I'd rather not. No, 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 no. Force goblins. Cavalry!
the undead shall rule these tunnels. But not today. Not today. Today, we just kind of give a little bit of a nudge towards the dwarves, being like, hey, we're buddies, right? Right? Mm hmm. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. They lost double the amount of our troops, but we still won. Which is very nice. Now, I'm not sure if we would have the exact same results if we had a full on one side and one side fight instead of uh, taking both the armies and just pulling them on two different sides. I think we'd have had a completely different result. Victory in undeath. Indeed. Slaves inform the Necrotect. Inform the Necrotect. I like it. Will Dynasty. We kind of uh let's see we shouldn't Yeah, we're still ah, we're still in their Victory lands. There we go. <laughs> Hmm. All right. Servants. I wouldn't Family be able to get out. Servant. Uh, fourteen, twelve. Ah. Well, he's leveling up little by little, so I'll take it. Uh, yes. Get that, and we will also get. Horsemen. Or chariots. Or your shop team. So I guess we're just going to make you a little bit better in fighting. Alright, so the north is pretty clear. Ugh, we have you. Still. Fine. Took out half their dudes. I ain't doing that. Almost took out War uh, Warzog. The great green prophet. I alone shall restore it, it seems like we can't see him just yet. Reason why we can't trade or do anything with him. But you need to keep like trying to fight somehow. Hi, Queen Kalida. Hi, Queen Kalida. Okay, we're good here. We're done with everything there. Still getting a good amount of stuff. You know, that's how much we're getting from taxes. Think what we could get from frickin' trade. Can you speak with Sentra? King of kings, know that you are not worthy. Look at that. He has an army and three more on the way. That's how OP the, uh, the, uh, Tomb Kings are, as we know. You've seen me play. You see how many times I've, like, risen an army in three days, or three turns. There's not really time during this, uh, during this time. Uh, could I make another one? That would be weird. I wouldn't make any sense. But yeah, I want to make one of these. I also want to make... Hmm... I really... Let's see. Quite the building. Restored. Hero Titan. So to get this... I would have to get this. Got so much. Eventually, it won't be. Eventually, we'll have just so much money, I won't even know what to do with it. I won't know what to do with it because I'm going to be trading with a bunch of people. They're going to love me. I'm going to love them back and then I'm going to kill them. And then I'm going to get even more money. And more bodies. All the bodies. So, uh, though they made for... Oh, okay, so... I have to go back for a second. Today's lore topic is the Pyramid of Setra. 
Though they made incredible progress, it was to no avail. True immortality lay just beyond their grasp. Great was Cetra's wrath, what for though the priest's uh, magic kept him alive for far beyond the span of any mortal man, they, can, they could not prevent his death. And we talked about this uh, in the last episode. So, however, the Motari uh, cult gathered a vast lore of magical incarnations and rituals, which they claim could bridge the gap between the mortal world and the realm of souls. Stop right there. There we go. So we'll turn us on at low pop, pop border. Uh, let's give you. Let's give you something. Oh, lovely. Do not like them having reinforcements. Ugh. If they do attack me, we'll be. Well, well defended within walls, and also we have Cobra Leeches of Labyrinths. Shopty and everything, so. Where is this? Send forth these guys. No. There we go. I should leave one of those armies up here to defend, but Stop I think we'll be fine. No, you failed, failed. You failed, failed? My face, face. I need 7,000. That's over 9,000. Eventually, I'll take this off. What the heck? Why do we still have uh, corruption? Vampire corruption. That doesn't make any freaking sense. What the hell? Where's the vampire corruption coming from? That doesn't make any... Is there like vampires up here? Anywhere near here? That doesn't make any sense. I mean, this is where the vampires started, but still. There shouldn't be vampire corruption. Get out me head! Get out me head! Stop that! Attend your king! Ugh. Basically didn't do anything. Is my throne ready? I kinda wanna just... Yeah, I'm just gonna attack him. Oh jeez, knobs dual wield. Ugh. Ugh. Hopefully, hopefully we can... Take a lot of these guys out. Cause they will just grind through our troops. See you. Get all your troops up here, like so. Make a big blob. Get some cavalry. God, they have. Look at the range! If I didn't know better, these guys were freaking elves. Look at that range. Okay, let's let's compare the range. So these guys are back here, while my skeleton archers are right here, and they have better range than my skeleton archers. Holy crap. Skeleton archer, or skeleton horse, wait, what do you call them? Skeleton horseman archers, yeah. Are freaking superior as all get out. Excuse me. Alright. Send them up. Control one them up. Control two you. Control three him. Of course, I know there is a better way of doing this than the way I'm doing it. I usually just kind of don't use the uh, quote unquote correct way. Don't run. Of course, you guys can never get tired, so that's fine. Okay. 
Once we hit this this place, we're gonna get fired upon. Charge with all your might. Actually, cavalry. Move in, cavalry. Move in. There they go. We are being fired upon. So go, my cavalry unit, go. Kill them all. Seriously, look at that range. Alright. We're loose. There we go. Not much. Just wee bits of harassment. Oh, crap. I should take out the Force Goblin Archers over here. Get you guys right about there. There we go. Oh, those are shields. For a second, I was like, what on earth are those? They look like giant drums. Archers. Far here. These archers. Fire there. Kill them. Kill them. There goes our first heal. No, that doesn't heal you, sadly. Run! Oh! Jeez! Jeez, it's... Yeah, take out their archers. Come over there! Come over here! Hopefully we get some more healing soon. We are again... Roasted. Oh my gosh. No thank you. Losing troops by the hundreds. Yeah. Take out the goblin rock lava. I must keep him alive. Actually, he can just fall all the way back. As long as he's alive, it's he's fine. Alright, you know what? We'll send the Yushati back there and have you guys just focus down. The archers. Nope. 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 Away with you. Crap, it's 500. I don't know how long, how much longer he can last. Nope. Actually, go over here. Go over here. Go over here. Why do chariots hurt you so much? Don't like it. Archers are basically destroyed. Keep firing. We are holding the line, but barely. Yeah, he's just gonna have to stay back here. He's not doing much good staying back there, but it's better than him dying and us losing the battle. Off. Archers do what you do best. You just pepper the living crap out of them. Get him. Oh, I know you freaking don't. You can't move us. Slaughters. I love it. Now where's the big... Oh, there he is. 
freaking goblin. Good. Kill the freaking goblin. What were you called? It great go goblin, great shaman. Yeah, look at that. Hopefully he won't stand a chance. Because if he does, we're kind of screwed. We're gonna be losing a lot of our troops here. All right, kill him off. These guys back here. Oh, there he is. Hold them back. Our archers are saving grace right now. They're gone. Actually, they're not gone just yet, but... Send one of our cavalry over here. Come out. The knobs. It's getting obliterated by our archers. No! Stay alive! Stay alive! Stay alive! Ah, 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 stay alive! Focus fire on the uh, chariots now. I think we'll be fine. Gob knobs. Hmm. Right, send them in. We have no more arrows. Basically, no more arrows. Kill him. Kill him now. Oh, you're still alive. Still alive and kicking. Warriors have rallied. I love that shock wave they have when they hit something. It's ridiculous. Two left. And surprisingly, we won this. I shouldn't say surprisingly, but I am still surprised. Because I truly thought we weren't going to win this for a moment. Let's just fast forward. Cool beans. Kill him as much as possible. Hurt him! Squeeze him! Make him bleed. Well, at least we took out one of their armies. 109, 100, 199. Nice. They held their line. Looks like we're gonna have to fall back and regroup once more. 100, look at that. 109, 164, 141. Yeah, these guys just chop their way through our lines like with freaking ease which is what I predicted but I alone shall restore Nehegara more slaves make way tomb king of Nehegara okay you boys just for now And you get some troops going before they come back and attack us. Because if they wipe out our northern army, then that's practically it for at least the north. Hmm. 6k. 
So that's good. That's fine. Yeah, look at that. Tomb Prince. I love it. It's so tempting to do this. Because we have Skaven in our territory. One, it's gonna hurt them. No. At the same time, I want them to attack me. So, let's continue. So, they believe that with careful preparation and the proper incarnations, it might be possible for the dead to return to life in imperishable bodies, though it may take many centuries to perfect and perform the necessary rituals. He'd be dead. Left with no other choice, Setcher commanded that a vast burial tomb be constructed for his body to rest within until the Mortary, Mortary uh, cult finished their work and he could be reborn into the eternal existence he so craved. Setra is doing well, actually, over there. As Setra lay dying, full of anger, spite, and pride, to his very last breath, the priest of the Motare cult promised him a golden paradise that, upon his awakening, he would rule for millions of years. When the king perished at last, it was with a final curse upon his lips. Now we'll continue that later. Rises from the Move you guys back here. And let us... Oh, sick! Oh, buddy! Ha <laughs> ha! We just got even more powerful. Oh, yes. Take away. Take away all that goody... Good, good nonsense. Alright. Oh, gosh dang it, but... Uh, oh, we also have 10k. Sick. Sick. Let's get this. And let's also get... Um... Oh, I don't want to do that. I want to get this. Ah, oh, it hurts. Hmm. Sadly, I can't really do anything, but that's alright. Well. Good. Uh, alright. Well, that's fine. Get three. And does it? Yeah, it'll take you two turns, so let's get... Let's get you two. Two more of you. And... Uh, I don't want to take him away just yet. We'll send you away. Give him them. Awesome. Alright. We are doing good. Doing all types of good. Just checking out how much time we have left. Um, I will be pre-recording a lot of these episodes, so um, if you have like any suggestions, tips, or tricks, I may not put them in effect until later. Uh, so I do apologize about that. Why? What's that face? My will be done. Hmm. Alright, there we go. Keep him right there for now. My dynasty reigns supreme. Can't exactly move. King, there we go. Serve Much better. Cool. So we have these guys right here. 
Um, no, need my wolf token stash. I need my wolf token stash. No, you don't. My will be done. I'll put you right there. Oh gosh. Dynasty. That'll work. That works. The goddess wills it. So I have no idea what he's gonna do. What he's planning. The Skaven own all this area over here. They all know that there. Oh, at least we're getting more troops. We're getting a whole lot better stuff. Um, I think that's basically it. So let's continue. So where was it? Oh yes, powerful incarnations were in, intoned over his corpse, and he was Im, Im, embalmed, embalmed, embalmed in a great ritual. About yeah, I'm trying uh, to right reading, reading right now. Preserved against de decay, the body of Setcher was entombed within a mighty sarcophagus in the heart of the majestic pyramid of shining white stone. The monument was so bright that it hurt the mortal eyes just to look upon it. The pyramids was very, the pyramid was vast and it and it. Uh, toward over the city sorry, towered over the city of Kimri. It was the largest and most magnificent mo monument ever created in Akahara. For no simple uh, Karen would benefit a king as mighty and powerful as Setra. Setra has a big ego. I mean, if you're that bloodthirsty and powerful, you know, Reese, it's kind of a uh, in the description, so all major port owners have become known to each other via diplomacy. What? Excuse me. An age of discovery. The raging sea god uh, Stromfell, Stromfells has gone missing, perhaps blown too far south by the arcane temp, uh, tempest uh, that is consuming the world. With his absence, the great ocean is uh, beclaimed the denizen of this world uh, since uh, since an opportunity is now no longer for the elves to dominate the seas alone other powers seek to ply the oceans onto sorry ply the oceans hunt for treasures and expand their empires abroad however they must not mistake a claim sorry a calm sea for a safe one there are still countless dangers lurking in the deeps all major ports owners huh well I don't have let's see oh. hey you should dude S look at that just easy to pizza the part right there thank you Setra now kill them all look at that his armies are growing Huzzah! I'm so happy. Go, Setra. Go, Setra. Um. We'll attack with this force here. Oh, they have like nothing. They retreated. They saw and they're like, uh, no thing. Time to kill them all. Oh wait, actually. Nope, I guess not. I thought these guys could uh take out the gates. I mean they can, but looks like it's gonna be a little bit different. There we go. Oh yeah. For That was weird. There we go. Arise, Get that one strained up. Rise. Cool. So they're gonna have a hard time breaking uh, through that. But of course, I got Skaven to deal with over here. Mmm. I don't like them being right there. Also, we're getting 4K. Woo, baby. I like it.
Oh, sick. Also, did everything just get cheaper all of a sudden? This was at like 7k. Huh. Uh, Lord Recruitment Rank, Untating. Uh, yes, Chosen SF Archers, Sand Snakes. Yes, this is a must have in these lands. Get our SF stuff. Alright. So, I think, let's see. I can't really do anything there. Ah, that sucks. There we go. Get more of you. Um, do more of that. And... There we go. Cool beans. We we're just getting all the things. All right. So I think that's gonna be it for today, guys. Uh, next episode, I will continue our little war, war, a lore about the pyramids of Setra, and we will attack the Skaven and uh, the rest of the um, what do you call it? Uh, Savage Orcs and all that good stuff. So, anyways. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, please go by like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.